Go We're at the uh, Hugh E. Siefkin Ion Accelerator Lab at Greenville College in Greenville, Illinois. And Dr. Siefkin is setting up a little experiment that involves ping pong balls being driven by nothing more than air pressure. He's going to pull a vacuum on a tube, a PVC pipe tube. I just, I had to. And we're going to set up three Pepsi cans at the end of this tube where Hugh is now taping a piece of masking tape over the end of the pipe. Got that on there nice and sealed. Yeah. Show him, take the can out of the way so I can see the end of the pipe slightly better just for a second. All right. We're going to try it for new He wants pipe. to see the end of the pipe just oh. one second. Here. There you go. That's great. Okay, that's good. So we got like a little diaphragm there. And you can see we're lining up. This is very high quality test equipment here. Three A&W root beer cans. And we're putting a weight on them so that they don't move. Right. Oh, that's a magnet. That's okay. a magnet. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'll use a smaller weight here. That, that weight's a little cumbersome. Okay, now we go. Okay. Haven't done this before with three cans, I think. Never tried three. Never okay, tried we've tried two. two. Done one a whole bunch of times. So there, this is our target of these three cans with this uh, little piece of tape over the end of the pipe. And then now uh, here's, our, here's our ping pong ball. Ping pong ball, it weighs about two or three grams. So it travels, uh, it comes out going faster than the speed of sound. Going faster than faster, the piece. A little higher than the speed of sound. Okay. Put him in here. And you notice we're going to put him, him in the other end of the uh, tube and tape over the end. And then you'll notice the, uh, the T connection coming out of the tube and it's going down to a vacuum pump. And after Hugh gets the, the, uh, the power end is what's going to be the... the uh, this is just plain old uh, masking tape. After he gets the masking tape sealed on there, then we'll turn on the vacuum pump. And we'll pull a little, a little bit of a vacuum. Okay. Well, pretty good vacuum actually. Now, we're so, going to see if the seals hold, first of all. If the seals don't hold, we'll have this happen a little earlier than we planned. Okay. Okay, the seals seem to be holding. Okay, so we're going to shut the pump off. Now hold your ears. Hold your ears. So I'm going to puncture the di I'm going to puncture it and let air in. Right? One, two. So we need to check out these cans and see what they look like now. First of all, we've got to find the cans. Oh, we got the ball captured in one of the cans. That must have been. Is that the first one? That's the first. I don't know. That's the first time you've had that happen, though. First one went through the first. Went through the first one. Embedded itself. It went right through it and went to the second. Yeah, that's it. And that must have it smashed that way. Yeah, it didn't go through. Two of them this time. It just got embedded. Did you have space between the cans? Do you think that was maybe a difference? I don't know. I don't know. But generally, and we'll show you here a couple of more cans that we did just a little while ago. We just had two cans. When we had two cans, we sitting beside each other. Whoops! Doing a terrible job here, man. Cool. It went through both of those. Went through both those cans just like a whip, just like we saw it do but there it a second ago. But didn't go through this time. The ball. Hey, we can, we can reuse that ball. No, maybe not. 